Well, we were talking about backstage, and you couldn't confirm it, but I heard every four times you touched the ball, you ended up in the end zone. That's unprecedented. I mean, I know Denard is a big play guy, but that's unbelievable. When you saw the ball, when you got the ball in your hands, were you immediately thinking, I'm taking this to the house every time? Well, as a receiver, you're always thinking of scoring. You know, you think first down, and then you think touchdown, and that was always my motto. Yeah, so is that something you ever aspired to? Did you want to win the Heisman? Were you ever thinking about that when you were playing? No, it never crossed my mind. All I just wanted to do is win football games and, you know, go to the bowl games back then. Now, okay, so what, what made you go to the USFL and not the NFL? You could, obviously could have been a first-round pick in the NFL, but you, you stayed local. What, what was the deciding factor? Well, they had a team here in Michigan called the Michigan Panthers, and having the opportunity to stay and play in front of the Michigan great fans yeah. uh, was one of the big factors for me to stay in the state of Michigan. And you guys won, was it your first year there you won the title? Bobby Bear, your quarterback? Yeah. How many, uh, that was a really good team. I don't think people remember how good the USFL was. Yeah, we had quite a good players on that team. I think we had like about six that ended up playing in the National Football League uh, once that league folded. Yeah, so, and then you went to Minnesota, uh, two Pro Bowls. Uh, how is it different in the NFL from, from Michigan and from the USFL? Is that just, you know, the best of the best? Well, bigger, faster, stronger, uh, a <laughs> lot, of, lot of great competition, a lot of man coverage that you have to, you know, uh, <clears throat> read and, you know, you have to learn more about the defense also than college. So uh, it was a learning process all over again once I got to the National Football League. But you still had a thing, you know, you touched the ball, you could go all the way. Pros, college, didn't matter. So even towards the end of your career, you were still thinking touchdown pretty much every play, all right? Yeah, like I said, uh, you know, thinking first down and then touchdown. That's it. What do you think of, uh, you know, your fastest day? Who's faster, you or Denard? I think Denard. I'll give him the edge. Oh, you heard that. Wow. I don't know if that's true. I saw you play. You were pretty fast. How about, uh, you know, right now, you know, you're still in pretty good shape. You think you could play a couple downs now for Michigan? They might, you know, they could probably use you. Inside the red area, yeah. I think I could do that in the National Football League. <laughs> what do you think of the team this year and what Brady Hoke's building? Well, I think Coach Hoke got him on the right track, and uh, I think they're going to, you know, have some good years ahead of him, even when Denard is gone. Uh, and, and tell me, what do you think uh, a possible Ohio State, Michigan, you know, you got Urban Meyer now, Brady Hoke building this team. Do you think this is going to really become back to where it was? You know, are we going to see one versus two in the country, Ohio State, Michigan, down the road? Yeah, of course. For what you see right now, what Ohio State is doing right now with Urban Meyer, uh, he's got those guys winning a lot of ball games, And so hopefully that those two rivalries can get back to where they used to be. All right, so what, what, do, you, what do you think today? Michigan State, give me a prediction. Give me a score. Well, I have to go blue. There's no question about that. So I know, but how I'm many? I'm going to go like 24-17 Michigan. Oh, close one. All right. All right. Well, thanks, Andy.